Morning folks. So here's another update on the CBR900 project. Um, yesterday I took the wheels in to a bike dealers. Uh, yesterday was Saturday. Took the wheels into a bike dealers and uh, I got the tyres and the bearings fitted. I was trying to fit them myself but I didn't manage to do it so I got it done professionally. So the new tyres and bearings are now on and uh, that's meant that I've been able to do quite a bit more work on the bike yesterday night. So this is what it's now looking like. There we go, wheels on. So I put on the rear disc and the rear sprocket on the front discs. There's actually uh, a video, a time lapse video that I uploaded yesterday that shows me fitting the discs and sprockets and then uh, another one fitting the forks uh, and the wheels. So I also got them to professionally install the um, uh, the bottom headstock bearing so the forks just basically bolted straight on I've also put the clip-ons on as you can see um, that's the front wheel in but I haven't I haven't talked everything everything's still got to be done to the correct torque but it's all basically kind of assembled I've also put the calipers on as you can see um, and I started putting on the one of the front levers and uh, that's that's the front lever there. I've still got to attach the um, top reservoir, uh, the uh, yeah, the fluid reservoir. That's got a screw on like that. Um, that's basically the lever in place, and then I need to put on the hoses and fill them with fluids. So that's one of the the next jobs to do. Um, I'm also planning to put on the. Um, the rear engine mount and put on the side stand and then I can get the whole bike now that it's got its wheels on I can get the whole bike off the off the engine stand so I'll be freestanding then um, I was waiting to fit the chain but I've not been able to fit the chain because it's too long I went back to the eBay ad and it said that all the chains are a standard length and have to be cut down so that's why that doesn't that's why that's too long you can see I don't know if you can see when I hold it up there's quite a lot of overlap there, so I'm going to have to get a dealer to cut that down because I could try and cut it down myself, but I'll probably just make a mess of it. So I'll get a dealer to do that as well. So once that's done, that'll be the chain on. Um, the rear brake caliper is also on. Um, installed that at the same time as the rear wheel. That's the rear brake hose. Um, Obviously I can't hook that up to anything at this stage because there's nothing to to hook it up to because there's no rear sets or rear reservoir in place. So there's still a lot of work to be done, obviously. Still got to put the um, put on the exhaust, do the oil and filter and do the cooling system. Um, the wiring loom also arrived in the post yesterday so but it, it needs a good kind of clean and tidy up the tank isn't actually installed yet it's just sitting there so i've got to make up some brackets to fit that um, so basically there's absolutely loads to do at this stage um, but at least you can kind of see it as a bike now you know it's not just an engine sitting on a, on a block of wood it's actually a bike, so I'm quite pleased with the progress so far. So I'm going to shut up now and go and do some work. Thanks for watching.